Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have every single one of you here today. We are going to make a Malibu Bay Breeze, but not just any version, the version you actually want when you're sitting on the beach or at home on your back deck in this hot, sweltering weather. We're gonna make an iced one, a frozen one, a slushy version. The same thing that you would get is if you went to a corner store as a kid and got one of those slushies. Hey, if it works in New Orleans for daiquiris, it'll work for you at home on your back deck. Simple and easy, and that's all you really care about. So I am going to make this in two parts. But before we get into that, let's talk about the ingredients. The first thing we're going to use is Malibu coconut rum. Now this is made from Caribbean rum and coconut liqueur and has an ABV of 21%. The next thing we need is cranberry juice. And we're gonna use one that's 100% pure unsweetened. Next you need pineapple juice. And I'm using a pure pressed pineapple juice with no sugar added as well. And for a garnish, we'll use some Amarina cherries. Let's get into it. So this is a blended cocktail, so you will need your blender. In this case, I'm going to use two of these smoothie cups that come with my blender. You could use a full size blender, totally up to you. In fact, I'm gonna put that right there because I need it. But the first thing you need to do is grab your Malibu coconut rum. Now, if you wanna add extra flavors to this, you could use like a Malibu mango or a Malibu pineapple, just to give you whatever flavors you want. And we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. The next thing we're going to do is grab, of course, our pineapple juice. Now I am making this in two pieces, so make sure you stick around with me till the end till you can see how it turns out. For this, we're going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to blend a little bit of this up with ice right now. And you have to kind of remember that pineapple juice will get frothy as well, so it might be deceiving, but you don't wanna use a lot of ice at first. You wanna use three or four cubes, blend it, see how it actually work up, works out, because it might be a little bit too liquidy or it might be a little bit too stiff. Again, depending on what you prefer. So grab, a few cubes of ice here. Slap the top on here, and let's give it a bit of a blend. All right, let's take a look at this. See, that is a good consistency right there. And you have to remember that you may get some big chunks, and that's completely fine, it's totally up to you. So we're gonna pour this all over my shirt, apparently. <laughs> So there's your, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that's one way to do it. So we've got about half a glass here. Now I am using a 12 ounce hurricane glass. Okay. Now we're going to grab the next one. And for that, we're going to grab your jigger again, and we're going to use another ounce and a half of your coconut rum. Again, that's 45 milliliters. The next thing you want is, of course, your cranberry juice from the Econo size jug. Because I got kids and I like cranberry juice, you just can't go wrong with it. And we're gonna use two ounces or 60 milliliters of this as well. Put that off to the side here as well. Now, again, we're going to blend this with a little bit more ice. And just remember, you're gonna get used to the amount of ice that you're going to need in there as you make a few of these. And you know what? You are going to need a few of these. And you gotta make sure that you can actually put the cap on straight. But you know what? This is gonna be so worth it on a day like today. And again, blend it up. All right, let's see what we got here. And this is looking nice and thick. Oh yeah, maybe a little thicker than we need, but this is gonna be perfect. Take your glass here, um, give it a bit of a, a drop, and use your spoon so you don't wear in it like I am my uh, the first half, right? And look at this. Absolutely, perfectly gorgeous, and it holds its shape just the way you want. And you know what? 
It's beautiful, it holds a peak a little bit. You got a little bit left over. And what you're gonna do is you're going to garnish this with a maraschino cherry. In this case, I'm using an amaranth cherry. And look at that, absolutely perfect. This is the drink you wish you had. It'll take you back to being a kid and you get just a little bit of kick alcohol. Look at that. Mm. Perfect. You get that coconut rum. It's well blended with the, uh, the pineapple here. And if you give it a bit of a stir like so, you're gonna get both. Mm. You can't go wrong. Perfect for the deck. And you know what? Let me know what you think. I really want to know. If you think we should use different ingredients, leave a comment down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a great day.